So I was starting to make this video and I realized that I didn't actually tell you guys about our product that we're using. So for painting all the flat spots on the deck, we decided to go with Epiphanis, which is this stuff. It's a two-part polyurethane paint. Um, well, actually it's this one. So the gray stuff that you see in the video is the primer. And it's, yeah, it's two-part semi-gloss polyurethane undercoat. And then the stuff that you see on top is this nice white glossy-ish stuff. So as you can see, it comes in like two pieces and um, we, so there's enough space in the can to mix the small one into the top can, which is like what they recommend you doing and using the whole thing. But A, we didn't realize that and B, we didn't think we were going to actually need the whole can. So we mixed them separately. Um, but they're mixed by volume, no, they're mixed by weight as opposed to volume, like, you see it says 250 grams and A plus B equals 750 grams. <laughs> so that made it a little bit difficult. I would highly recommend if you guys are doing this yourselves to actually mix it in the can. Hopefully you have enough surface area that you can actually put the whole can in. It only took us two coats of the poly paint and one coat of the primer to get our whole edges done, as you'll see in the video. So that was pretty sweet. We thought we would put, have to put three coats on, but we didn't, and it actually looks really nice. It went on extremely smooth. So we are pretty happy with that. Our painting skills are not as good as they should be, but as far as like the actual paint goes, it was great. But we also bought the Epiphanis Thinner that we put in the paint and that I think definitely helped for it to go on smooth. The gray stuff, the primer, goes on pretty thick. It's like a lot denser than the paint is. You definitely need to add in the thinner for that stuff to go on nicely, but yeah, we're pretty happy with it. Again, our painting skills were definitely the weak link in that situation, but yeah. The other thing is that it's actually kind of hard to figure out like how much of the like thinner to add in and how to actually apply the paint. The Epiphanis website didn't have a ton of information and the can didn't, but we found YouTube videos. And from the YouTube videos it seems like there's actually like a fair range of like options for application and for mixing of things. The can said something different than the YouTube video did, even though it's their own YouTube video, so that was interesting. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for more instructions on how to apply this stuff and you can't find it, maybe check out their YouTube channel. That was the best resource we found. This was us trying to use a partial can. The primer needed to be mixed and then left to sit for 20 minutes, and then the thinner added in. The paint was the same, but 30 minutes instead of 20. We were told that the best technique was to roll and tip the paint, or roll it and then go over it with a paintbrush. So that is how we started out initially. We quickly found, however, that rolling the primer was sufficient. For the first layer of paint, we decided just to roll. For the second coat, however, we rolled and tipped just to make sure that all the lines were gone, and it seemed to work great. It's 
So I don't know how well this is going to show up on camera, but this is after one coat. You can definitely still see like the gray primer underneath. So we're just getting ready to put on the second coat. And it's like that all the way along. So it's like you can see the brush strokes, like hopefully you can see that here, but you can't feel it. Like it feels flat. It just really does not look flat. So we're hoping one more coat does it. We're gonna use the full can and put a second coat on all of that white. We also, of course, found one new place to cold water bathe during this process. and we're trying to get the boat ready to be painted again but there's so much to do on the boat that Logan is currently working on blowing the dew and the extra dirt off the boat. So we're gonna get a coat of primer on and then after that Tomorrow we're going to put the first coat of paint on. Once all the painting is done, we can put the mask back on the boat. And hopefully get back in the water sometime, I'm assuming next week. So that's exciting. We used the same mixture for our primer, which went on nice and smoothly. However, we rolled and tipped it, and this time probably could have done with just rolling it. So that's what's left. Not too bad. Yeah. Sweet! Well, we just got back from Logan's parents' house. Um, he spent time with his whole family. He has three brothers, and all three brothers have kids under the age of three. So, <laughs> it was hectic. And all I want to be doing right now is napping because I'm tired. I don't even know how people deal with actually having kids because like just hanging out with the babies made me so tired and I didn't even have to be responsible for them. But of course, right when I would like my nap time, it's the only time today that we have shade on all the areas that need to be painted. So Logan's up there blowing off the deck. And we are going to put the first coat of white paint on over top of our primer. Uh, and then maybe I get to have a nap. We'll see. Hard life around here. For the paint, we used the exact same mixture for this first layer as we had done for the front. It applied very well at first, but on the vertical it was too runny and quickly dripped down. So last night we put on the first coat of our Epiphanus in the back. The lay flat stuff for the flat stuff on the deck turned out pretty well. It's like normal. Pretty much what it looked like in the other stuff for the first coat. But where we were on a vertical, it did not turn out nearly as well as you can see with the drips. So we wiped the drips like three times and it still dripped down farther. Luckily we're doing at least one more coat, probably two. So what we think we did wrong was you have to add like a thinner into the paint and we think we put too much thinner in. We definitely put too much thinner in. Yeah, for the vertical. It would have been fine if it was just all flat that we were doing, but with the vertical it just 
drip down didn't stay like the paint's made to kind of like self level level but it did too good of a job on the vertical and ended up on the bottom where it wasn't meant to be so well we yeah and it was our first try like we've never done any stuff oh, yeah. on a vertical so when we did it the same mix for our other stuff it worked pretty good oh yeah it was great but yeah so we just you know learning experience so next coat we will not be adding nearly as much thinner into it hopefully it works out better so we're just about to put the last layer of paint on the last epiphanous layer we are going to add Sticky, weird. We're gonna add less of the thinner in than we did last time because of our running issue. So hopefully that does the trick and um, it doesn't run because we need it to not run. But anyway, we'll show you. The second mixture, which was 40 milliliters instead of 70 milliliters of thinner, did not really run at all. It also didn't flatten itself out as nicely, but the paint stayed where it was meant to. So our second round of Epiphanus definitely worked better with the less thinner in it. As you can see, you almost can't see the primer underneath anymore. Um, but on the spots that it was the worst with the dripping, you can definitely still see like the primer underneath. So I'm thinking we might have to still do a third coat like there. Lots of it's looking like pretty good. Definitely looking better, but yeah. Looking thin in some spots. Might be okay though. I don't know. Maybe it will dry better. But it's very sunny out, so I'm hoping we can get to the lake. Hi, Max. We also wanted to let you guys know some exciting news. We have a new logo and to celebrate we are doing a limited run of swag available to order until September 30th. Shop link available in the description or on our website. Shipping available worldwide. And as always, thanks so much for watching, liking, subscribing and commenting. We reply to every comment. And special thanks to our patrons.